Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. Hey, we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. No, don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turned things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you? Turn things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <sighs> oh, boy. Where do I start? I went back into the business. That business? I gotta be honest with you, Doc. I mean, why am I paying you all this money if not to be honest, for once? It felt good. That government guy I told you about, he got wind of it. It's fine. Expected. <laughs> Problem is, he's not the only one. He fucking found me, Doc. My old pal, Trevor. He's alive and he ain't going nowhere. This is bad, Doc. You gotta help me. Hmm. Honesty's an obstacle for you, Michael. Have you considered that transparency might be less painful than obfuscation? Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? Sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. You listen to me, asshole. I never said I was perfect. Hmm. What about your... Sexual problems, Michael. I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. <sighs> Not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that, or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay? <laughs> <laughs>